everyone. Today we're looking at the French artist Paul Cézanne. He was born on the 19th of January 1839. He studied law and art at the same time and although his parents wanted him to be a lawyer, he really wanted to be an artist. And so he eventually became an impressionist artist. Although his art was often misunderstood and people laughed at his work. He's also known for inventing the art movement of Cubism and he was one of the artists who inspired Pablo Picasso. Cezanne painted lots of different subjects, landscapes, portraits and objects, although one of his favourite subjects was to paint a still life. We're going to be looking at some of Cezanne's still life paintings. But what is a still life? A still life is simply a painting or drawing of objects. It's different from other forms of work in the sense that the objects cannot move unlike a figure or a portrait of a person. And it's also close to you, unlike a landscape. Cezanne had a very definite style and many other artists considered him to be a genius. He painted simple shapes, his work was simple and flat and he used colour to create form. He painted over 200 still life paintings. He used lots of short brush strokes and at first he painted in dark colours and then later on in his career he added bright colours. He painted a lot of fruit, in particular he loved to paint apples. In his paintings you often see that the fruits are painted in warm colours and the background in a contrasting colour or in cool colours. This helps the fruit to become the focal point of his paintings. The focal point is the part of the painting that the eye goes to first. For today's project, we're going to be setting up our own still life. I've used a bowl of apples that I have at home because I think it's quite Cezanne. But if you've got other fruit you'd like to use, feel free to do that. You can also use fabric to make your still life a little bit more interesting. Once you've arranged your fruit the way you'd like to paint it, then you can start. We'll start by drawing the fruit. Look at the basic shapes. The basic shape that I'm going to use for the apple is a sphere and so I'm just going to put in my basic shape so that I know where I want them all to be and where they are in relation to each other. Remember they don't have to be perfect. If you look at Cezanne's paintings they're not perfect shapes and they are quite flat. Once you're happy with your drawing you can start to add some colour. I've used watercolour paints for this project but you can use acrylic paints if you'd like to. If you don't have paint at home, then perhaps oil pastel is the next best option. If you look at Cezanne's paintings of apples, they're lovely warm autumny colours, so you can use lots of reds, oranges and yellows. For your shadows, you can add a little bit of purple or blue to your red. For my background I'm using a bigger brush and more of a wash so I've added more water to my paint. I've also chosen to use quite soft muted colours. This is because I don't want my background overpowering the focal point of my painting and that is the apples in the bowl. I'm going to finish my painting off by doing a little bit of shading using a pencil. This just gives my apples a little bit more body and a little bit more depth. You don't have to do this, but I like to. Now it's your turn. Have fun setting up a still life and doing your own Cezanne inspired painting. And if you've enjoyed this project, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.